Jesus Christ is called the Good Shepherd. After Christ's ascension, the apostles appointed and ordained bishops to watch over the church. The word bishop means overseer, and they are meant to watch over and protect the church just as Christ did. To this day, Orthodox bishops carry staffs that represent a shepherd's crook used to help guide a flock. A good shepherd is one who diligently protects and loves his flock just as Christ did. And perhaps one of the greatest bishops to ever watch over the church was Saint Raphael of Brooklyn, the first Orthodox bishop ever to be consecrated on American soil. Raphia Hawawani was born to pious Syrian parents on November 21st in the year 1860. As a young boy, he did well in school and he went on to study in Damascus where he would prepare to become a priest. He was made a monk in the year 1879 and given the name Raphael. He was then sent to Halki Island to the School of Orthodox Theology. He was ordained to the priesthood in 1889 and sent to Russia. In the year 1896, he was sent to America for the first time. St. Raphael was such an example of what it means to be selfless and to go where he is needed. He's such an example of humility because he didn't necessarily want to go to America or not want to go to America. If you think about it, that would have been a pretty tall order to ask of somebody back then. I mean, the fact was he was from the Middle East, he was studying in, in Greece, he was serving in Russia at the time, and then they asked him to come to this new land of America where it was uncharted territory for the Orthodox Church. He was sent to preach God to people throughout America, and he did so with humility. He went and he found people, he traveled by horse and buggy, he traveled by foot, he rode in on trains when they weren't as comfortable as they are today with Amtrak. Uh, but St. Raphael did hard work and he went and found the lost sheep and he brought them to Christ. He was able to bring God to so many people. He visited nearly 30 cities all around the country and found many different Orthodox Christian communities that at the time, did not even have a church. They needed spiritual leaders. Saint Raphael would perform marriages, baptisms, liturgies, and confessions for the faithful living throughout the country. Over the next several years, he would return to America and continue to help those who needed spiritual guidance and leadership. In 1904, he was made a bishop becoming the first Orthodox bishop ever to be consecrated on American soil. We see his, the impact of his ministry all over the country today. Uh, the fact is, he started just over 30 parishes for our Antiochian Archdiocese here in America, and he also ministered to so many Russians as well, and even Greeks. Any Orthodox Christians who he came in contact with in his ministry, he was able to meet with them. And so he's impacted our church in ways that we don't even know, because by all the work that he did, it's impacted us today because a lot of those churches would not necessarily be there if it wasn't for him. Or maybe they would have looked a lot different. Or maybe it would have taken a lot longer for something to happen. Or maybe people would have found faith somewhere else or lost faith even if he had not been there at that time to minister to them, to offer them the sacraments, to bring Christ and his message to those people. Over the next 10 years, he continued to tend to the growing Orthodox communities throughout North America, establishing over 30 parishes, the Antiochian Orthodox Archdiocese of North America, and even helped the founding of St. Tikhon's Monastery in Pennsylvania. He was able to impact and connect with Orthodox Christians of many different cultural backgrounds. He once said, I am an Arab by birth a Greek by primary education, an American by residence, a Russian at heart, and a Slav in soul. On February 14, 1915, 
he passed away from a heart illness from which he had been suffering for several months. His relics are at the Antiochian village in Pennsylvania. As Orthodox Christians, we can learn so much from the life of St. Raphael. When we look at his life story, St. Raphael worked so hard and for so long, he literally worked himself to death because unfortunately he died at an early age in his mid-50s. As an Orthodox priest, St. Raphael has definitely inspired me a lot. I was blessed to grow up as a camper here at the Antiochian village, uh, coming from the age of 10. And ever since then, I remember just being in amazement that we were so blessed to have a saint buried here at the camp, right in our own backyard. We were blessed to be able to go visit his grave and ask for his prayers and ask for his intercessions. We were blessed to be able to venerate his relics has been such an immense blessing in my life and I truly believe has brought me closer to Christ. So even though he passed away so many years ago, St. Raphael through his example and through his presence here at the Antiochian village, his physical presence, has brought me closer to Christ. St. Raphael was one of the church's greatest modern leaders. He went throughout North America to find the faithful who needed him and helped guide them to Christ. Without his constant love, leadership, and education, orthodoxy in America would look very different. Orthodox bishops are called to be shepherds for the flock that is the church, and St. Raphael diligently ministered to all who needed him and brought them to Christ, the Good Shepherd.